you can find slash give them a one on one slash anti slash another day we can discuss this like I say every time ah, they stole my name Konami Yu-Gi-Oh people I was good then Yu-Gi-Oh 5 DS or whatever the hell it's called had to come out I had it maybe I should steal their theme song and use that in my super cool intro that's a brilliant idea that will get back at them anyways you can tell this is active beam or snowdrift operations cut stuff uh, Gameplay and uh, I tried writing down what I wrote. It didn't end well, but I you know I watched the video beforehand. So hopefully this will be less improv because I know you don't like my improv. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm you know as you can see I'm playing the Hellgas and I'm starting as a tactician. And the thing I do always in the beginning of this thing is I put a you know a attack down near the where the crash I did. And I always capture this TSP because it even though it's not that much of a difference, it gives me 50 points. And it also makes it so that, you know, we, the, you know, the hell gas, can stop the ISA faster because, you know, you just come out and, you know, if someone repairs the ammo crate, there's ammo crate there. And, you know, there's a thing right there so you can quickly stop them from coming. Anyways, uh, as you can see, I'm not doing good in the beginning. So, you know, as you can see, that you can just easily access the area and stop them. The way I think a team should work is that maybe, like, uh, most of the team should start off there with a couple maybe in the back. And they should quickly uh, run off and then go to the, this area because I think it should be divided. Because I mean, this area is important because, especially after the capture, it's over. And a uh, little fun fact if you see a medic without a metabot, I would advise you to shoot them no matter what. You don't see them on the radar. Or, I mean, obviously, you don't see them on the radar, that's the thing. But if you see a medic and they don't have a metabot, they are most likely an infiltrator. Because everyone wants the metabot nice, it's accurate, and it kills well. You know, it helps, you know, sometimes you do those three kills. So, uh, let's see, Metabot. But anyways, I'm just defending this area, because, you know, they already got the, what you call it, the battery, and I don't know what this guy did here. I tried finding him, I put it. So anyways, you know, they had the battery already, so I was defending this area, and I think, yeah, most of the game I chose really just to defend this area. I was right by the medic. See, no Metadroid, he's evil. Uh, anyway, so I tried to I decided to defend this area mostly because they already had the because you know I gave my team the TSP they should be able to defend it themselves and as you can see a couple people I think have a medic and a couple infiltrators helped and stayed behind and you know when I was playing this game at first I was thinking God my team sucks because look at that they already lost you know they already let two bombs go and it's only been two minutes I mean two batteries go. So anyways, I decided to spend most of the time just going here. Although, you know, another tactic is if you're a tactician, you can always, uh, go and try to stop the enemies from capturing the area. But I chose a different tactic this time because I get bored with that. This one involves more ki This tactic involves, I don't know, more killing, I guess, because, you know, some... Because, you know, there's a few eyes who decide, oh, let's get a ground hold over here like I do. Just, like, put a turret and whatnot. If you're a good engineer, I mean, if you're an engineer, it's good to get some, uh, what's the word? Uh, it's good to get some, you know, quick ammo repair points, because, like, right outside the TSP, there's an ammo crate over there, and if, you know, your hell gas, there's, you know, a few, this is for the hell gas, and there's a TSP, there's a ammo crate there, and there's a few ammo crates in here for your team. And so, if you're an engineer, you should really fix those, because it makes it w much easier for your team to, you know, fight back. Because, you know, you get infinite grenades, and infinite gun bullet things. What I'm yeah, I can see them. You know, the M82 is a really powerful gun, but I choose it because I prefer it over the SMG and never really liked that gun. And uh, I'm not a shotgun person. I always really suck with it. I prefer uh, the M82 because sometimes I get a long range. You know, I'm usually I get usually mid range kills sometimes. And uh, um, yeah, let's see, covered everything. TSP, if you're a hell gas, if you're ISA, don't bother getting that TSP, honestly. It's way too far out there. You have to go through the enemy troops just to get there. It's not going to help much. I mean, I've seen some ISA actually capture it, but they usually, I mean, usually I suck when it comes to one on one gunfights, but usually they do lose it. And even with me, which is sad, they lose it and I get it for free. I know I'm a little missile abuser sometimes, but. In my defense, it gets me 50 points extra. And also, sometimes if enemies group together, extra kills. I don't think the missile is really that overpowered in the game. I can understand 
but it's like you only get one shot unless you know you have an engineer repair and records and as you can see no engineer so uh, getting back to the tactician holding the area point I had you know with the team splitting up I think that maybe a couple tacticians should go you know one or one tactician can capture that point easily and then if there's more tacticians on your team or whatever uh, you know, help that side. They can go over there and help to capture that point really easily. But one thing you should know is that the ISA can hide behind it and, um, uh, uh, and you know, capture it still. So there's like a little ledge thing you can see where there's like a little cave thing people can sneak through back where the battery is and the ammo crate. Uh, let's see if I can see it. Yeah, right there. Right there to the left. With the, okay, you can see it. Well, but there's a little mount thing. It's a good place for a sniper to go and snipe. And I think. They, you know, usually a sniper or even a tactician I was playing against early when I was ISA. Uh, not, uh, you know, one time was uh, shooting and throwing grenades from that area and they were getting some pretty good kills, so stop people from capturing. I think I killed this guy a lot. A liminality guy. I don't know if he could. And, you know, if you're a tactician, you should throw the ATAC near where you are in good areas, like here. It's a good area to throw ATAC because most of the times. And you should just have respond, and you know, especially with the battery, they're thinking, I'm gonna go after the battery. You know, everything else is secondary, sort of. So they go after the battery, and usually the a sentry may not kill alone, but sometimes they get you assists, and they do like that one time, and actually got me killed. Hmm. Wow. Oh, three seconds, that's so lucky. As you can see, I don't want to spoil it, but you know, there's going to be more to this commentary than the last one. And hopefully soon, I want to add a commentary. I may add a sort of Frozen Dam Part 2 and uh, 3. Maybe in another game, I will cut the first part off and just keep the second and third part to show how you can defend well in Frozen Dam. If you're, you know, the hell guys and you can't make it past, you know, the enemy makes it past, the eyes can make it past the first section. So hopefully I'll do one of those. So anyways, I'm the tact you know, I'm still the tactician now. Usually whenever I start a match, I'm always a tactician, as you can see, and I always capture the TSPs because, you know, they can be really important. Um, when I play an Act Snowdrift, I'm not really caring much about that, sp about the, the explosive down there. Uh, I'm usually more concerned about, you know, getting the area up top that, you, you know, you can spawn in sometimes where the two bombs are, because I think that area is more precious. You know, because the two bombs are actually there, so if you have a good foothold there and you have your turrets and everyone lined up there, you can really kill people. You know, since I'm down here now, I'm going to try, you know, just kill a few people. And the reason I capture the TSP is sometimes the ISA will capture it, and then if they capture it, they will, uh, you know, they have, you know, a three spawns to come in. So in this spawn can, you know, help people, maybe they see the bomb is being placed, or they want to defend that bomb after they die, so they can spawn there. And anyways, it just stops the ISA from getting inside three ways. Because, you know, Helgas wants to one way. And uh, recently I've been using the Engineer Sword as my secondary class. I have done my job as a tactician. Because I love the SDA3 LMG and the turrets. If you can place them well, can actually rack up some kills. I know I was surprised too when I was seeing turret kills. Like, whoops. Alright, let's see. So, you know, I play as a medic. I usually use a triage. You know, the Metabot. And I have this SMG. It suits my style of run and gun, really. Ah. Uh, well, the other gun is the LMG. I used to like it a lot, but it's really inaccurate, that gun, so I didn't really use it much. And then, what's the other? Hmm. I saw that guy. While I was watching this again, I saw that guy, but then I lost him. I know he's back to my train of thought, which I lost. Is that, uh, the LMG is sometimes can be accurate, and sometimes it can be really inaccurate. And then, there is also the, uh, what's the third gun? Third gun, the M82 SE. I know Fish Fan told me to use it, and... Uh, I've used it a little, I guess I'm not, I don't know, I guess maybe my, I have my hand memory of when I'm medic, I shoot this way, and when I'm not medic, I shoot, you know, when I'm uh, infiltrated, I shoot the other way, because usually I do well with that gun, so, you know, later on, you know, after I get over my engineering ST, STA3 LMG craze, I plan to try using the M82 SC, because, you know, you got to get used to some new things, and it's basically just another version of the uh, STA 52E, the burst gun from the uh, infiltrator. And the reason I was looking at the menu right now is because I was wondering, because I remember the game being much more fuller, but as you can see, a lot of people left, and I was a big idiot there, I didn't kill that guy, but I got these two kills, and it makes it better. I melee that guy real quickly, try to melee that person, and I ended up, end up shooting, and not melee them, but same thing. I ended up winning because of my awesomeness. And anyways, just, you know, you may be wondering where if I'll ever do a third part, but 
I probably won't because in the third part with the Hellgast, I mean the third part it's really hard for the Hellgast to win. All I can say is that capture is that you need a tactician to capture that TSP real quickly because it will help you for two reasons: it gets you a quick way to spawn and it stops the ISA from getting to spawn right there instead of getting to the bridges where you can kill them. Anyways, I think I got a positive KDR and I. Uh, yeah, I did, and I hope you enjoy and subscribe and, you know, tell others because I'm so awesome. Bye-bye, ciao.